guys, this is Jackie, your Nerdy Crafter. And for those of you following me on Twitter and Instagram, you know that I've been a little obsessed with Decoden. And so for this week's tutorial, I decided to do another Decoden video using Sophie and Toffee's pieces. So for this week, you guys learned how to make a Decoden case with some drizzle and sprinkles. So this theme here is the YouTuber Sweet Tooth. I think the sprinkles on this case just make it look so adorable and absolutely scrumptious. In this video, I did not use Sophie and Toffee's deco cream because I ran out. So instead, I used silicone too. Here's what you'll need for this project. I'm going to go in order of things that you can get from Sophie and Toffee, and then the other stuff that you can either make or get elsewhere. Of course, all the links will be in the description box below. A phone case that matches your phone, white deco cream, a wide tip, these adorable cabochons, strawberry and dark chocolate deco sauce, your own cabochons, homemade polymer clay sprinkles. And this one is really easy. All you have to do is just roll out your clay really thin, bake it for eight minutes, and then chop them into little pieces. A nail filer or sanding paper. Before you start anything, make sure that you design where you want your cabochons to go. Then take a picture with your phone. That way, once you start decorating, you're not too worried of where the pieces go. Now, what we want to do is plan exactly where our deco sauce is going to start and end, and also where the deco cream will start and end. So for that, you're just going to place where your cabochons want to go. Take a marker and put a line to where the last piece ends. Now remove the pieces and you're going to sand the case. You only want to sand it enough so that it has little scratches on top. Now you're going to take your chocolate deco sauce and you're going to make little waves at the bottom of the line that you just drew. Now don't go too far down because we will be putting the strawberry only after the chocolate dries. Now you're going to let this sit for a couple of hours before we start putting our cream. For the cream, what you're going to do is you're going to press down, release the pressure, and then pull it towards you. That way you're creating a nice shape. Once you have the cream, start putting your pieces. Now make sure you let it dry for at least 24 hours before using it on your phone. All done! I really enjoyed using deco sauce for the first time, but I do have some pieces of advice for you guys. Number one, for some reason the strawberry deco sauce was way thinner than the chocolate one so it wasn't really keeping its shape. So I had to make layers in order to get the piece thicker. So that it doesn't seem like there's too much difference between the cream and the sauce. Second thing about the sauce is that for some reason, they just kept making bubbles. So you have to stay very diligent and make sure that you pop the bubbles because they will not pop themselves and they will stay. So make sure you get rid of those suckers. And lastly, they actually dry way darker than what you have them in the bottle. So even if you like the colors in the bottle, they really do go much darker. If you're interested by anything Sophie and Toffee, the link to their website is in the description box below. Until then, I will see you guys next week.